All right, boys, what's up, everybody? It's Stefan from Mod to Fame, and we are back with another video. And today is one of the happiest days of anyone who does a big build on a car. It's the day that you put that car on a dyno. All right, man, let's jump into it. Let's go. All right, so here we are today, boys. We are currently with our boy, Dig Nation J, as well as Mr. Dig itself, Dig Bully, with the TTRS. You know the vibes. <laughs> so today we're actually putting, how many miles have you done now? Uh, 1,600 miles. 1,600 miles on break-in. Yes, sir, man. So like I was saying, this beautiful monster right here, is finally going up on a dyno. It has been driving around on very low boost, very low timing, 93 octane. It says like, hold on y'all, I gotta move these gas cans. So like I was saying guys, it's been driving around on this break in tune, break in setup for 1600 miles. Now, he has been doing some pulls. He has been enjoying it, full throttling, no problem. Cars driving amazing driving almost like stock just with more power we're gonna do one pull on its break-in tune that it's on right now which is on 93 octane which isn't nothing guys it's really really nothing so we're gonna do one pull first on the break-in we're gonna send that log to the tuner drag on tuning is the tuner today and we're gonna do everything via remote between me and drag on tuning to start turning this thing up so Let's see if this thing makes some power. Bro, this car sounds nasty with that cam, bro. I have a baby cam, like a very mild cam. My car don't sound nothing like this. Nothing. My car sounds so tame compared to this car. Sheesh. Yo, it's crazy. It made you feel like you gotta take a shit, right? <laughs> don't it feel like that? You be like, yeah. Every time your car go on a dyno for the first time, yes. you always feel like you gotta take a shit. You're like, like it never, that's why you look at you waving back and forth, holding your hip. Listen, it never fails. Every time, the first time. After yeah. that, you get used to it. Because the but first time, you're like, what's going to happen? Something's going to go wrong. Is it going to do what it's supposed to do? Granted, you've been doing pulls on the street, yeah. and you wasn't this nervous. But now that it's on the diet, it's more scary. It's like, for some reason, because it's like, now you're getting the truth. Now you're getting what's really going on. You're seeing everything. You're the stepping outside thing is, the picture. The That's big, what it is. The biggest thing is you're scared of breaking. That's the biggest yes. thing. I'm like, man, I hope that thing don't crap out. <laughs> Nah, you good, man. You good. You good. I'll be watching everything as well, I do this it. Why, this is also the reason why we built it the way we built it, so we can try to take as much preventative measure as, as possible. possible. You sound like a growing boy, man. I'm yeah. proud of you, man. You told me well. <laughs> Yo, y'all go. Y'all gotta go follow Dig Nation YouTube, man. Well, first of all, you gotta start posting videos. Yes. Okay. So there'll be a lot more videos coming out. You you promise? Videos, promise. And, and you promising me, or you gonna promise, promise you them? I'm promising the fans. So people don't want to know more about the car and see it besides seeing it on Because it ain't going to be in my garage. It's going to yes. be in yours. So they're so they going to want to follow that, your car. They can see some of it on his on, on my fans channel and see some on my channel as well. Right. Because after I'm done and I get your car straight, yes. they ain't going to see the car no more. Yes. So they're going to want to know how it's going, you know, three months from now. Yes. They're going to want to know, is it still working? Yes. Did Monta Fame mess your car up? That's the biggest thing that they want to know. <laughs> the biggest thing that they want to know, why would you yes. trust him? His car is always broken. They're going to be like, man. That's what they're going to say. Oh, that, we haven't seen the car because the car is down again. The car is like his car is down. That's what they're going to constantly say. Yeah, but so people, they're going to come to your know, channel they're gonna have to come to my just channel to check. To see. All right. And, uh, Dick Bully will be having a channel soon too, so he has a All right. Nice so if you into that, if you into so. that Audi content, Audi TTRS, he he tearing up the streets, tearing up the streets, man. This kid is tearing up the streets. 
So if you about that type of time, check out his channel. And then he is going to be out on these yes. streets. Because I'm done. I don't do the streets no more. Yeah. So if you want to see that street Some action. Street, but same like, same like my other famous. Don't lie. He going to be on the streets. I know you. I know you going to be on the streets. But, but, but. But he's, we're trying to make the, com we're trying to make the convert to uh, obviously do everything more on the jack strip, so same like- Yes, we know you got a good job and you don't want to mess it up. I understand. <laughs> got you. Yeah, I'm going to take him to yes. the track with me. Yes. And then when he not with me, he going to be on the streets. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So here we are in the car. About to get done. Pull number one. Pull number one is going to be on wastegate which is, in this car, 10 pound springs in here. So I'm going to see what it makes on the lowest possible setting that this car has. And uh, we're gonna make sure everything is good and that's why we're doing it this way. All right guys, so give me a minute. We're gonna get started in a sec, stay with me. Yo, yo, listen man, I need y'all support. Right now, go visit moddepain.com. We got some new merch up there, like this black camo that I got on right now. This joint is fire. I've been getting compliments on this at a car show right now. Anyway, go check it out right now, moddepain.com. But anyway, back to the video. Guys, here's our first pull. Y'all ready? But I just don't bet. Yeah. You know? So that's, that's the thing. That's what throws a lot of people off is because you don't bet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, you don't do bet racing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You do it for the content and for the fun of the, the sport. Yeah, I do the same thing, man. Yep. I don't bet money. And yep. a lot of people, they don't understand it when I yep. tell them. But I'm like, I don't bet money, bro. It, it, yeah, bro. It does nothing good. Nothing good comes from when you race for money, it changes everything. Yeah, bro. The it's attitudes, it change, it turns people into, yeah, yeah I don't need it. And it's not beneficial. I don't to need you. it, bro. I you don't know? need it. A lot of cars, I know that I could go out there and clean people up and beat them. Yeah, and, but I'm just not, I don't need it. Yep. I don't need it for my ego. And I definitely don't need it for, okay, cool, you make a couple hundred dollars. You make a couple thousand dollars, maybe. But it comes with high, high, high risk. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of it's a, it's a like lot people, of risk involved. A lot of people that um that follow you know, on social media or that watch the car stuff on, on YouTube and social media, they don't understand that yeah, all right, he could race for money, but one, he can mess up the car. Two, it brings attention that's not needed, especially now with everything that's going on with the car industry and the car community. It brings uh, unwanted attention. That, that could possibly be bad. Exactly. You know, and exactly. that's, a, that's a lot of what a lot of them don't understand. Exactly. Yeah, man. So I, I made a conscious decision to stay off the street. Now, listen, if I'm rolling along with my boys, we driving, yeah. we having a good time, and we do a pull together, that's different. Yes. Yeah. But then saying, meet me at this spot at this time, you know, <laughs> unless. On the highway. It's. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's it's different, bro. And you get a whole bunch of spectators, and that's how, that's how people are getting. The spectators hurt. are the problem. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and that's how sure. people are getting hurt. The spectators are the problem. The people yeah. with no car that talk all this yeah. shit. It's always the people with no car, like, Facts. or their car is slow. It's like, Facts. you're not in this conversation. Why are you talking? Bro, you, you know, know how many the people famous, hit me up, bro? The famous line of it is, I got a car for you. I'm racing my Everybody car. got a car for you. Yeah, Everybody got it's, a car for you. It's like, oh. wait, wait, wait. Do you have a car yeah. or you know someone with a car? Yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm trying to understand, like, yeah. you know what I mean? And that's something that I just, I, I never got with that, bro. Yeah. I never yep. got with that. Listen, I don't talk shit. If I'm not faster than you, I'll just be like, yo, you're sh running, you fast. That's yeah. it, you got it, you know what I'm saying? Yep. I don't then be like, oh, well, let me go get my boy who got a faster car. No, it, it is what it is.
since the twin turbo Hellcat's a new platform and it's trapping almost a 170 already, and yeah. how many months with a manual? Yeah, I mean, I just started my first time on the streets with the car was in February of this yeah. year. These cars are only gonna get faster and faster. And you know, a lot of people get mad when I post a like fastest Hellcat on Draggy. They get mad. Fastest Hellcat at Pocono. Yes. They get mad. Yep. But the reason why I do that is not to beat my chest, but to say, you do it. You're opening the door for Advance the platform. Yes. I'm the first to do it like this. Yes. Come behind me, cl clean me up, shut me up. <laughs> but all it'll do is, all it'll do is advance the platform. It's the yes. only way we get faster, yes. right? Yes. And yes. also, advance the platform outside of the bubble of a drag strip the drag strip is a Bro. bubble it's a controlled people thing people are doing draggy times on drag strips and that is not a real world Bro, all they care about is quarter mile numbers it's yeah, like yeah. quarter mile numbers don't mean yes shit. when you on the highway and a guy next to you pulls up and he want that smoke yeah quarter mile times means d they nothing. mean nothing and, and yo i smoke cars that run low nines in a quarter. Yes. Nine three, and nine we, four, seen, and I pull on them. Cats run eight seconds, nine second quarter miles, but you're not seeing these cars. What happens when you put it in a real world? They can't run on the What street. happens when you put them in a real world? They fall uh -huh. apart, bro. Look, they the, fall the, the apart. Did you? Did you rate? Look, I respect drag racing, obviously, right? Because I like. The I respect yeah. it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I bro, respect it, it, but it can't be the only thing. Yeah. Yes. Honestly, now is roll racing. It's just yeah. not roll racing. And, and, and roll racing is getting a bigger and bigger platform. Yeah. It is. Yeah. It is. It is. And it used to be the fact that roll racing could only be done on the street and illegally. Yes. But now but there's tracks, events. sanctioned yeah. events. Yeah. So now there's no more excuse. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Get out there, and run your car. To do more with these cars. That's it. And, and That's it. People, people are living more in the old fashioned ways. You gotta evolve. And that's why Bro, they stuck in the they stuck in the sixties and seventies, bro. And all these other they stuck in the sixties and seventies. For us to be competitive like that, you gotta evolve. Listen, next year I'm gonna be drag racing my car. Yeah. I'm gonna go out there, I'm gonna set my low nines, I'm gonna set my high eights, but my mile an hour is gonna be five to six mile an hour faster than every other car that's running my same trap. Yes. And the only reason why I'm not gonna trap what they trap is because I run it because I drive a manual. Yes. That's it. That being said, I'm gonna do that, but I'm not doing that for me. I'm doing that for them. Yes. I'm doing that, I'm doing that for the people that's watching, that's like, okay, but what is it running a quarter? Yes. You know what I mean? And that's all they could think about and all they can understand. Now listen. When people talk fast cars, they always talk. What do you do? What's, the, what's yeah. in the quarter? Yeah. But to me, that yeah, don't yeah, yeah. that don't mean you fast. That mean you quick. Yes. What's your sixty one thirty? That mean you know what uh, you know what a fast quarter mile time means? You were fast off the line because it's all sixty foot. Yep. And what you yeah. did pretty much to the three thirty. Yes. Whatever you do to After the three hundred thirty, the car is yes. coasting the rest of the way. Yeah. It's just pushing through the rest of the way. That's so why you have some cars that are, are, are not making the same power beat other cars like that because they're 60 foot and then easy. Yeah, or you yo. can have a car that runs a 140 trap speed at a 9.9 quarter mile or a 9.0 quarter mile running a one, you know, 139. Right. You know? It's, it's yeah. possible because it was all done at the beginning yeah, of the track. Yeah, exactly. It was all done at the beginning of the track. So what that really means, when I see that, what that really means is, all right, let's take the launch out of the equation. Let's take the glue. Let's take the prep. Let's take your big tires on glue and prep. Yes. And let's put it in a real world condition and see what it could do. They don't like that. They don't, take, like, that. don't, like, that. They don't like that. Once you take all of they, they hand, they, their aids away yes. and put them in a real world, they but form. It has to defend for itself. It doesn't. Where you need power and driver skill. Yep. Because a lot of people will be like, roll racing is not driver skill. Yep. Are you dumb? It is. Are you dumb? Are you dumb? There's no driver mod in roll racing. Yeah. Are you oh, dumb? No driver mod in Bro, you can run the same exact cars and roll race them against each other, mm -hmm. and one car will gap the other car. Because one guy didn't car. know how to maximize the performance of his car yes. from this specific speed, at that specific timing. Yes. Bro, it's all the same. All right, y'all, it's been a very long day so far, but it happens. We're having some fueling issues. Which I thought we might with these triple pumps, it could be a little bit tricky getting it dialed in perfectly. But I think we have something as close to it as possible. So we're doing our last run on pump 93 to finish it off to make sure everything is perfect. Drag on tuning has now sent us like seven revisions to lock it in. But once you lock in the base, then you can turn it up. Let's see this last run.
Yeah, buddy, y'all know what time it is. Time for that coin, baby. All right, our final number on 93 came out to 822 on 93. That's on this dyno com. So we about to put in this E85. Start turning it up. We on that coin. We turn up that boost a little bit. Let's see, let's see. Y'all saw the way that thing act like it wanted to jump off the dyno just now. That was nothing but a cool little 946. And that was 18 pounds of boost. So 18 pounds, 946. Just playing around a little bit. We're going to get there. Still got a lot more dialing in to do. I don't know how much time we have today. We losing fuel pressure just now. It's a four triple pump. We disconnected the hob switch because we were having some fueling issues. And we thought it might have been coming from the hob switch. So we disconnected it just in case. So now we're gonna reconnect the hob switch so that we can regain fuel. Once I see that fuel pressure is holding steady, we're gonna go ahead and run it out more to make sure everything is all right. Y'all see it, man, no BS. We are showing y'all as we go. That being said, we definitely gonna break a thousand today, 100%. It's probably gonna make on 20 pounds, something along the lines of 10, probably 10.30 on 20 pounds is gonna make. Now, this is a dyno comm dyno. And uh, dyno comms are like Mustang dynos. They really hurt feelings. It's really low ratings. But we're not looking at that. We're going to take this car and see what it do on Draggy. And that'll give us a good idea of how much power it's really making. All right, so we're going to reconnect the hob switch right now. Just punch that back in. And then we're going to do another pull on the same settings. No changes. But we should see a pickup in decent power when the fuel is not dropping off. Let's get that done, boys. We're trying to hurry up because Mike's staying late for us. We got to get him home, man. We got to get Mike home. Can't be here with us all day and night playing around with race cars. I'm so excited. Uh, uh, and I just can't hide it. Just, uh, you would think that this is my home car. Yes, sir. Numbers stayed exactly the same, but now we got fuel pressure. So now I can turn it up a little bit. I'm going to turn it up a little bit, and then we're going to go for another pull after I send this log to the tuner. 
Alright y'all, we stepping it up to the big dogs now. That was like 24 pounds. We about to go to 27. You need those headphones? Oh you got, okay. Yeah. We got Dick Bully with the headphones. He can't even take the power. We're about to be the big dogs now, y'all. I hope y'all ready. I hope y'all sitting on the edge of y'all seats. Cause we pushing this dude Paul, bro, right now. Woo! 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 Oh, look at his face. Look at his Priceless. face. Priceless. Oh, this worth it, huh? Man. Worth it, huh? Everything. Worth it, huh? Yo, of, we put this joint in a dyno stress, jet. Oh my if that would have been on the dyno jet, that would have been 1200 all day. Oh, yeah. That would have been 1200 on the dyno jet all day. But we take what we can get on this dyno com. We're not worried about the horsepower numbers. We're worried about how we perform on the street. You understand? Yes. Send me something else though. He sent me something else. So yeah, man, we couldn't do this without the um obviously Dana Auto Sports for letting us tune here and get this done. Shout, Shout out to Bob. Drag on tuning, baby. Drag on tuning. Drag on tuning, you the man, bro. You all the way in thing. another state sending us these files, getting it right. I saw you just sent us a file. We'll we'll use that and we'll do that on the street. Bro, don't let me forget to you can't leave here like this. Oh yeah. You'll kill yourself. <laughs> so I am going to turn that shit all the way back down. I'm gonna let you rock somewhere around a thousand. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna let you leave me on a thousand and be careful. Oh yeah, I know that. Please. I will. Listen, this will. power level is different, bro. <laughs> this ain't no joke, man. So please be careful, brother. We keep we keep that we keep the bro, turn we up one. We, we keep the turn up one for, for uh bro. for race motive. Oh, we gonna turn it up for slip string. We gonna start out, you know, we gonna start out on our little low yeah, You know, man. rip off a little 157, 158. And then we'll be like, all right, we'll go back around, let it cool down. <laughs> turn it up a little bit more. Little 161. Like it, let it cool down, let it chill. Then, <laughs> 165. <laughs> They gonna be like, yo, who the hell is this? They're like, who is this guy? Where did he come from? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, don't play, bro. These Hellcats running now, boy. We just gotta hope that this. <laughs> two for two on 1200 plus. We just, we just gotta, we just gotta hope 
that the trick to mission, we gotta get that dialed in and tuned. So we're gonna play with that at slip trick. Yeah. All right, because if it's kicking us out of gears early, then that means that maybe the pressure has gotta be changed or set or something. I don't know. So think about that though. If it's making it's making 1150 on a dyno on a, on a dyno com at 5800 RPM, what it's gonna do at 67? At 67, it's gonna go crazy. It's gonna make 1300 all day. Your car gonna kill my shit, bro. Nah, I, I keep telling you, that ain't gonna listen. That automatic? That automatic? That automatic keeps static like wall fabrics, dude. Oh, my boy, I'm hard. You know what I'm saying? Nah, that's old. That's old. That's like old knobs, <laughs> bro. Chill. Don't give me that credit. <laughs> so there it goes, man. And and this couldn't be done without Diablo Sport. Obviously, Diablo Shout out to Diablo Sport. Doing Sport this. 100%. You know what I'm saying? We tried to get it done on HP tuners. It didn't happen. And this is proven. On the fly change of the tune. And you can't beat that. You cannot beat that. Obviously, Big Bully's been saying for a long time that this car was going to be uh, a killer. So, he, we yeah, told bro, you. He told you. Is, bro, the real honest question is, man, how you feel, man? Aesthetic. Aesthetic. How you feel? How long has this been coming? You can't lose when you have a winning team behind you. How, how long have you been waiting on this moment, bro? Almost a year. Almost nine a months. year. More than nine months. We started this project. I told him not to. Yep. But you went down this road anyway. But yep. at the end, look where we at, bro. Well more than worth it. This well is, more than worth it, bro. This, 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 and look, an once, we get the, once we get the trans tuning dialed in and we could shift this bitch at 6,700 RPM like we supposed to. Yep. Bro, it made that at 5,800. 50, yeah. 5,800, my guy. And we plan on shifting 60. On a dyno com? Come on, y'all. Oh, it's a rizzle. And not even in sixth gear. Not even in sixth gear. Not even yeah. in a one-to-one -one gear. That's it, fifth gear. That, that, yeah. that may be 13, these maybe turbos, plus. These turbos do not like nothing less than 20 pounds. And that's what you were saying from the beginning. They don't like nothing less. This shit was making no power on 15 pounds. It didn't like it. Yeah, and we couldn't figure we out why. Yeah, yeah, we was like, we, what the fuck is going on? The turbos off. don't like that low boost. Yeah. They want to scream. They want to yell. They want to make 1,200. Oh, that's oh what they God. want. That's what they want. Hey, 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 turn around so they can see that. Woo! You Gap know the season. vibes. Gap in season. It's open. Open it's season, open yeah. season, bro. Gap is see, bro. I'm, I just can't believe, bro. I'm gonna turn you. They can't. They can't say Hellcats is slow because you. I'm gonna turn you down. These. I'm gonna turn you down to 17 pounds, mm -hmm. and I guarantee you the difference from when the car was driving before to uh -huh. now. You're gonna be like, holy shit, with only two more pounds of boost. That's all I'm letting you leave here with. On Sunday. Yes. Then we can <laughs> turn it up. It's a more safer environment. <laughs> It I'm sending you. I'm sending your ass to the moon. <laughs> you go into the moon, my guy. So 17 should be somewhat close to what, like between nine, 900. 60 and 900. Like 900. Yeah, probably like nine and change. Not. Yeah, nine, 900. I would say. Look, that's. So a thousand is probably. You came in here. The first pull we did was 747. <laughs> yes. Yeah, 17 pounds made like 950. Yeah, it was something it like that, right? Oh yeah, so when we did the 17, it made 946. 946. 946. Yeah. That's right. So that's more than enough. That's like a thousand. Yeah. So, yo, that's enough. I can't believe we hit. We cracked over 12. Well, you know, oh, they're not gonna say that because of this, but they don't know the difference. But, they don't know what we know. But we broke their record. We broke Dana Autosports record. Yep. So. That's we it. came here. We with a Hellcat. We came to the Ford. We came to the Ford place with the Hellcat. It broke the numbers, baby. That's it. Say what you want about Hellcats. These bitches make power. <laughs> she and they listen, Matt. These turbos, bro. They do not like low boost, huh? They, it was lazy as hell, right? They don't come on till four thousand RPM or so, and they want. They want to eat. Yeah, they don't. They want to eat, baby. They want to eat. So there you go, my brother. And that's it guys, we did it, another epic one. This car is gonna be a missile. I know y'all can't really see it. It got dark, we was here from afternoon till night. My family gonna kill me. But it's all for y'all, man. So make sure again you support the movement, montafame.com, check it out. Go get your merch like what I got on right now, which is, you know, y'all saw it already, charcoal gray, y'all know the vibes. But anyway, big shout, so happy for my man Dig nation on youtube man go find him you know follow his journey follow his build we off to a really good start another big twin turbo horsepower hellcat done man with your boy 
mod to fame making it happen okay but what you say what you want to say we cranking these joints out boy man i can't believe it if you like this video you know what to do like subscribe share hit that bell notification so you don't miss no more videos going forward but until the next one it's your boy stephanie here from mod to fame and we out we out